Are you one of those people who always wanted to read but could not do so because of certain reasons? Then you should continue watching this video. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I am Sadhat. So today I am making this book recommendation video for all those who always wanted to read but could not do so because uh, because don't find the plot interesting enough or maybe they are confused at which genre they want to pick first. So these are the list of few books which you guys can pick and start your journey as a reader. So let's get started. Before getting into the video, I just want to tell you guys that there are certain parameters on the basis of which I have selected these books. So in case uh, you guys wish to read uh, any other book, then you guys can use these parameters and decide yourself and start your uh, reading life. Uh, I'll be discussing those parameters in this uh, video, so just watch this video carefully. So the first book is by our very own well-known Indian author that is Durja Dutta and the book is When Only Love Remains. Now this is a story of a girl who is uh, young and bright and is living her dream that is to become a flight attendant. And then the guy in this book is a singer but he is not so well-known singer so it will be really interesting to see that how these two characters come together and live their life. So if I talk about the parameters on the basis of which I picked this book up then the first parameter was that the book is my Indian author and I love books by Indian author because they, I feel much more relatable uh, to these characters and the second one is romantic fiction now this book is like totally full of romance and love so if you love romantic movies then you can go for this book and the third one is the blurb I really found the blurb of this book really interesting and unique so that's why I picked this book up the next book is again by very famous Indian author and that is Chetan Bhagat and the book is Half Girlfriend. Now this is a story of a Bihari boy who actually falls in love with this high society girl. Now the girl's life is actually very complex and messy so she is not able to uh, commit herself 100% to the relationship. So that's why she decided to become the half girlfriend and that's where the title of the book comes from. So. The reason for picking this book is same, it's by an author and the story is amazing and I get lots of questions when I read the name of the book. So those are the things that really attracted me towards reading this book, so yeah. So the next book is again by Indian author that is Sudeep Nagarkar and the book is You Are Trending In My Dreams. Now this is a story of four college going students who are totally different from each other and they all have their personal battles like they all have the inner demons with which they are dealing. Uh, so the main question arises that when the time comes will they be able to help each other or not. So that was the main thing that attracted me towards this. The book is actually very thin and the print is also big so that was a driving force for me to uh, complete this book as soon as possible and I would also recommend you guys to go for uh, thin books. Uh, during your initial reading years. The next book is by my most favorite author and that is Agatha Christie and the book is The Murder of the Roger and Roy. Now Roger actually knew that the woman he loved has actually poisoned her husband and the next day Roger himself got murdered so the whole story revolves around who the murderer is and the investigating officer that is Hercule Poirot is an uh, investigating officer so he is doing his research and investigation so the, the whole book revolves around that. If you guys are interested in crime or you want to read some books which have suspense which is undecible then you guys can go for Agatha Christie books. Her all books are great and rememorable. So the next book is by John Grisham and the book is The Racketeer. Uh, now this is a story of a guy named Bannister. Now he was framed for the uh, crime which he did not commit and now he is on loose and uh, taking his revenge. Uh, so and the thing is that he is a lawyer so he knows all the rules and regulations so he is committing crime which are legally possible yes so that's what is the interesting thing about this book the main reason why I have picked this book up is because of the John Grisham. He is well known for his legal thrillers which is one of my favorite genre and there are lots of planning and plotting in this book and twists and truth are being twisted so that's what is written in the back of this book so that really helped me to read this book in a single go. If you guys want to know the detailed review of these books that I have discussed today then you guys can visit my Facebook page the link is down below or if you guys wish to connect with me on my social media then the links are again down below you guys can check I it out this video turns out to be for you guys and in case it does then do subscribe to my channel don't forget to hit thumbs up and do share my video